Hi, I'm going to talk briefly about Suzuki Violin Book 1, Perpetual Motion. I'll play through it once and then talk about some things. to someday okay so a couple things to notice before we even start there are fourth fingers in here I really want you to do them where they're printed you can do that there are other times when it's marked that it should be an open string that's fine too just follow what's written in the part okay the other thing is this is a really good opportunity since it's all just notes there's no crazy rhythms or any other really weird technical thing it's a good time to just work on getting making sure your second finger is in the right place because I notice a lot of students always struggle with that. So make sure second finger has a space, okay? In some ways, we would almost call this a stretch. And then the third finger and the second finger should be really close together. Okay? Make sure you're there. Some people I like to call it a flarp when your second finger is somewhere in the middle. Yikes, ouch, right? Okay, so make sure it's high enough or close enough to your nose. And that your third finger squishes right up next to it, okay? That's what your finger pattern should be, right? This is our favorite finger pattern. This is where we start. And this is where your tape should be if you have tapes on your instrument. Okay, so a good time to practice this on this song. Um, there are times when you're going up to it. There's times when you're coming down. So like in measure five, you're starting in third finger. If you're not sure if it's in the right place, you can check it with your open A. And then your second finger should be right next to it. Okay? Just something to practice there. Um, I would also say with all these notes, the one way that you're really going to learn it is by slowing it down and practicing it more slowly. Okay? It's important though when you practice slow that you Practice the same way you're going to play it when you're playing it fast. Let's see if I can demonstrate. Okay, so I'm not using too much bow because if I get used to using a lot of bow at a slow tempo, it's not going to work when I try to go faster. So that's one thing, not too much bow. The other thing is I'm tr still trying to move my fingers pretty quickly in between notes. Okay, so just something to keep in mind. Slow practice is key. You got to learn that now and for however long you end up keep keeping playing a string instrument. Okay, so uh, I think that's pretty much it. I'll play through it one more time, this time a little more slowly. And you can try to follow along. You can try to just finger along or play, play along, whichever works for you. Okay. 